Japan's nuclear waste. It's rarely talked about and not as well known as other environmental problems, but if stored incorrectly it could be more dangerous than anything humans have witnessed. At this point in time, nuclear waste is stored above ground near power plants where it originated. However, according to the scientific community, the safest permanent disposal solution is to store this hazardous waste deep underground. In the 1980s, U.S. authorities set out to find a long-term solution to this growing waste problem. In 1987, Yucca Mountain in Nevada was identified as the most viable option due to its proximity to one of America's most used nuclear testing sites. The plan was to deposit all the waste from across the country in a tunnel complex about 300 meters under Yucca Mountain. There would be no chance of this toxic material getting out because it is located in an isolated part of the mountain and formed millions of years ago, so it is safe. It turns out Yucca can even absorb any radioactive waste without crumbling or cracking. Yucca Mountain was initially considered to be a perfect place to house radioactive waste, but the people of Nevada protested against it. The United States has over 100 operational nuclear reactor sites. Nevada, however, was not one of the locations where they set up any reactors. So opposition against the idea of becoming America's next nuclear dumping site was very vocal among congressional representatives and the general public. Opponents also said that there are many question marks about the hydrological and geological surveys of Yucca Mountain. The site is dangerous in that it could contaminate a nearby water source. The water source flows into the Amargosa Valley and is used by Native Americans who have lived here for centuries. Despite the opposition, this project has already won approval and the Department of Energy continued construction in 2002. Nevada's opposition became stronger and stronger. They contend that the routine exposure will stigmatize Nevada residents and affect tourism in the state. For the opposition, the only reason Nevada was getting the repository was because of its lower population and a smaller representation in Congress. The project had too many political hurdles and didn't move forward. But in 2010, Obama's administration cut off funding for it and canceled the project altogether. Three years later, a federal court ordered its continuation, but by then it was outdated and unworkable. The Biden administration has made it clear that they don't want Yucca Mountain as a site for nuclear dumping. Nevada seems to have finally won after decades of fighting. It took decades and after $17 billion, and with all the legal and political troubles, Yucca Mountain Project is and remains a useless mega-project.